Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Sniper Elite 5 in depth where today we will be covering the new DLC That's rifle and my exactly. most anticipated addition to this game, the Delisle Carbine. So without further ado, let's get into this. The Delisle Carbine was made in 1943 by a British Air Ministry engineer, William Godfrey Delisle. Initial prototypes were tested in both 2.2 and 9mm calibers, but ultimately a 45 ACP version was deemed most successful. The 45's greater stopping power against unarmoured targets was likely seen as a big selling point. The weapon was incredibly quiet, with an audible range of about 46 meters and a sound profile of 85 decibels, which is both much quieter than a silenced pistol and even quieter than a well rod, which is an achievement. To test the weapon's quietness, live rounds were fired into the River Thames from atop the new Adelphi building to test if the crowd below the building heard the shots, and they didn't. The Delisle Carbine was used in World War II, the Falklands and the Troubles by the SAS. In-game, the Delisle Carbine is somewhat of an oddball. The weapon is the quietest rifle in the game by a substantial margin, managing to be even quieter than the silenced P-38, which I was not expecting. Prior to release, I expected the Delisle would have an audible range of about 35 metres, as this would place it squarely in between the P-38 and a stealth M1 Carbine, but the Delisle ended up with a preposterously quiet range of 14 metres. The weapon also has the tightest spread accuracy of any rifle in the game, allowing good usage while shoulder aiming, and basically allowing it to be used as a well rod when up close, which upsettingly now makes the poor old well rod even less viable than before. The weapon also boasts good aim stability, recoil control and aim down sights time. Its 7 round magazine is also the largest of any bolt action rifle in the game. However, the Delisle Carbine is notably flawed in many places, and mostly the important ones. The weapon boasts the lowest effective range of any rifle, with a range of 180 metres, which puts it on par with the MP44, which is about as embarrassing as being caught playing Fallout 76. The weapon's muzzle velocity is cataclysmically low, to the point where the fire rate genuinely doesn't matter, as you will have cycled the bolt by the time the bullet has hit its target. Combined with the low, low damage of 77, the lowest of any rifle, the Delisle Carbine is even more unreliable than it was in Sniper Elite 4. Once I was firing at a target about 200 metres away and I hit him square in the head with the Delisle and it didn't even kill him. I'd like to say that he wasn't wearing a helmet either, the bullet just bounced off his shiny bald Nazi head. This is worse than the Nambu. Additionally, despite having excellent ADS speeds, the weapon has the slowest switch time of any rifle by a huge amount. I honestly think this must be a bug, as no other rifle has this disparity between ADS and swap times. Overall, the Delisle is incredibly quiet, I think more so than anyone was expecting. This makes it ideal for stealth operations, as you finally have a semi-long range option that can keep quiet. However, it is even worse than its Sniper Elite 4 equivalent of the other stuff. If you know you can keep it quiet and will not get spotted, it works, but it's worth saying that both the SREM and M1 Carbine are still good choices for stealth, and although not nearly as quiet as the Delisle, they both work well at range, which is just something to keep in mind. Now I want to take you through two custom setups I have for the Delisle Carbine, the first of which is a stealth build, because of course it is. I use the number 32 Mark II scope because it has great visibility and a magnification suite of 4 and 8 times, which I find more useful than the 3 and 8 times of the regular scope. I also use the incredibly broken extended suppressor barrel to both increase damage and reduce noise, which must be the most overpowered pairing in the world. I use the rubber butt plate to reduce recoil, allowing for better follow-up shots when it inevitably doesn't kill someone, at the cost of worsened spread accuracy, which doesn't matter too much for this build. And finally I use the short travel trigger to improve my fire rate, once again for better follow-up shots. This is pretty much my go-to Delisle setup. 
effective at longer than usual ranges, with superior damage and fire rate, there really isn't anything not to like. It was even quieter than before, which basically eliminates the need for subsonic ammunition, which is brilliant. Pretty much this setup brings the Delisle to where it was in Sniper Elite 4, which is always nice. My other setup focuses more on the close range performance of the Delisle, because woe is anyone who uses it at range. I use the number 32 Mark II scope, as usual, and the short carbine barrel to improve my handling times and aim stability, to allow for the ability to somewhat quick scope. I use the M1905 bayonet for knife criming Jaegers, and the magazine pouch to speed up my reloads so I'm out of the fight less often. Finally, the short travel trigger improves my fire rate. This setup is very nifty up close, making it basically turn into a well rod on a tremendous amount of speed, with improved handling times, bayonet use, and faster reloads and fire rate. My one complaint that it's now noisier, up to an egregious 17 meter audible range, which for a Delisle means that it's basically heard from space, but you can't win them all. Thank you everyone for watching the video. Remember to like, subscribe and comment. It costs you nothing and it's a great way to help out the channel. Stay safe and goodbye.